What's up guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits. Inside of this video, just a quick tutorial for those of you who are wondering how to get a little bit more screen real estate out of your Premiere Pro setup when you're using a small laptop or screen. So this is a little trick for you. Now, obviously there's the typical things where you can close different panels by right clicking them or just moving them around to different spots and customizing it that way and just maximizing your real estate. You can resize things like this, but really, if you're anything like me, you are enraged by the fact that as you scrub through your timeline, you have like, okay, this much room for timeline, all of this blue box, but I only get like three quarters of it because most of it is taken up by this stupid track menu that even if I try and resize it, for some reason, Premiere doesn't let me. I can make it bigger, but not smaller. So stupid. Anyways, here's a little workaround for this, little trick. It's not gonna change everything for you, but it will make things better. So what you're going to wanna do, go down to the audio area right here. And the reason this bar doesn't get any smaller is because Premiere's like, no, you need to have a certain amount of space for margin for these things. So what we have to do is just get rid of the extra ones we're not using. So go over here into customize. It's gonna pull up a little thing like this. Then we can just drag these icons because probably you're never using this microphone little icon. And sometimes Premiere lets you do it and other times it doesn't. So we're just going to click and attempt to drag these stupid little things out of the way. And of course, sometimes it just won't work. So then you try again. Hit reset layout, that seems to fix it. I'm gonna get rid of toggle sync if I can, and then the record button, because I don't use those, and voila, you're gonna see that my little bar right here, my track list bar, has gotten smaller. So unfortunately, you can only take two out of the way and it'll get a little bit smaller. You can't continue to remove them and get rid of this bar entirely. Wish you could, but at least it's a little bit of extra real estate when you're on a smaller screen. So if this was helpful, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment below if you have other ideas, tricks, tips, and if you know how to get rid of this stupid bar, please, please let me know, I beg of you. Otherwise, subscribe if you want more content like this and I'll leave some links to some free presets or lot in the description below. See you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.